okay dear students let us read the question a transformer with 600 turns in the primary coil is used to change an alternating root mean square potential difference of 240 volt into 12 volt so first of all it is a step down transformer step down transformer it means n2 will be lesser than n1 it is evident from the theory we will go into the mathematics also we will find the true number but in just one go by just reading this much statement i can say that the answer is either b or d now and uh, uh, what is the mathematics behind it i will tell you now see there is only one formula here that e2 divided by e1 is equal to n2 divided by n1 so n2 we need to find and n1 is 600 so e2 this secondary is 12 volt and the primary is 240 so it is coming out to be 20 and this is 30 so from this simple calculation we get n2 is equal to 30 tons so there we go yes our answer is either b or d now when connected to the secondary coil a lamp labeled 120 watt and 12 volt lights normally because our output voltage is 12 volt and the lamp is also requiring 12 volt so definitely the lamp will be working normally there is no problem the current in the primary coil is 0.06 when the lamp is lit so the primary current is also given to us now we want to find what are the number of standard turns and the efficiency of the transformer so we know that efficiency is defined as power output divided by power input into 100 now for power we are going to use the formula e into i that is power is equal to v into i if you remember there are three formulas i square r v square by r and v into i so i have converted it into e into i here now power output we know is 120 because that is the lamp and lamp is providing the power output of 120 volt so it is 120 divided by power input so power input will be 240 is the voltage and the current is 0.06 so it should come out to be 240 into 0.6 so which is 120 this is 2 and 0.6 it can be taken as a like 10 removing the decimal so it will be 10 divided by 12 into 100 yes so this is definitely not 99 it is 83 percent and also with the help of uh, calculator or with the help of calculation you can find that it would be coming out to be 83 percent so definitely our answer will be d so this is the explanation for this uh, question any doubt if you have please do let me know in uh, uh, the comment section this is professor varun all the best